Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lad Education and welcome back to What's the Output video series on C programming language. Now, just like the previous tutorials, you guys can pause this movie and take a look at the source code which is here in the editor and first try to find out whether there are any errors in the program and if you guys think that there are no errors, then try to find out the output of the program. Once you guys have an answer, just click on the play button, I'm gonna run the program and explain the output. Alright, now I guess you guys have an answer for this program. I'm gonna build and run this. So it's gonna be build and run. And now the answer or you know the output of this program is x equal to 0 and y equal to 200. So now why the heck we're gonna get the output like this. Now if you look at the source code of this program then uh, we have a couple of integer variables x and y and we have stored the values 100 and 200 in them. And then we have this if statement and in the condition part we have this logical and operator and if this condition is satisfied then we're gonna execute this printf statement else we're gonna execute the uh, printf statement which is in the else part so now uh, before explaining you know why the heck we got the output like this i want to talk to you guys about the and logical operator so uh, now here you guys can see the syntax of this and logical operator this and logical operator is going to work on two operands uh, the one which is in the left side is called a left operand and the one which is in the right side is called right operand and this and logical operator is going to return a value of uh, true which is a non-zero value in c only if both of its operands are evaluated to true uh, which is nothing but i'm going to use one to represent a non-zero value if the both the operands are going to be evaluated to non-zero values then uh, you know the whole operation is gonna return true which is one you know a non-zero value and if any one of this is false then the result is gonna be false which is denoted by this zero and um, here if you have one zero then also it's gonna be zero and if both of them are zero then the result of this thing is gonna be zero now the thing to notice is if the left operand is evaluated to false which is uh, zero then there is no need to check for this right operand and uh, we can straight away say that the result of this operation is going to be zero because one of the operand is false so this logical and operator is going to return a value of false if the left operand is evaluated to true then we need to check for the right operand in order to compute the result of this operation. If the right operand is false, then the result is going to be false. But if the right operand is true, then the uh, result of this uh, operation is going to be true. So if the left operand is evaluated to false, then there is no need to check for the right operand. We can straight away say that the result of the operation is going to be false. So the same thing happens here. In order to speed up the execution of the programs, what C is going to do is whenever it's going to encounter this AND logical operator, first it's going to evaluate the left operand of this AND logical operator. So here it's going to evaluate this. Here what happens is x minus equal to 100 which is exactly equal to x equal to x minus 100 x is previously containing 100 so the result is going to be x equal to 100 minus 100 which is going to be 0 so that 0 will be stored in this variable x and now the left operand of this and logical operator is evaluated to false in order to speed up the program's execution what c is going to do is c is going to optimize this program so it will not check for this right operand in other words, it will not execute the contents which are specified in the right operand. So since this left operand is evaluated to false, C is not going to check for this right operand. It's going to straight away say that, okay, the result of this whole operation is false. So if condition is going to fail, that's why we're going to execute the else part. And here we have the printf statement and we are printing the values of the X and Y. So it's going to print out X equal to zero and Y equal to 200. That's because here the uh, value of this y variable is not altered so just to demonstrate that if the left operand is evaluated to true then c will check for this right operand uh, to demonstrate that i'm gonna change uh, the value here let's make this one uh, 50 and then uh, we're gonna build and run and before that let me close my previous run 
and now we're gonna build and run and now you guys can see x equal to 50 and y equal to 100 you guys can see both the x and y variables value is altered so what happens is in the if condition part we have the and logical operator so c is gonna execute the left operand so it's gonna perform x minus equal to 50 so it's gonna be x equal to x minus 50 x is containing 100 so it's gonna be um, 100 minus 50 which is gonna be 50 and that 50 will be stored in this variable x and this 50 is a non-zero value and that's why the left operand of this uh, and logical operator is gonna be evaluated to true so in order to compute the outcome of this whole expression c needs to check out the right operand and that's why it's gonna execute this right operand so here we have y minus equal to 100 and this time uh, y is containing 200 so it's gonna be reduced by 100 so it's gonna become 100 and uh, here since both of these uh, operands of this and logical operator are gonna be evaluated to true this expression is gonna evaluate it to true so if condition satisfies and this printf statement will be executed and it's gonna print out x equal to 50 and y equal to 100 so this is it guys this is how we're gonna get the output like this so thank you for watching and i hope you guys have learned something from this tutorial and i'll see you in the next tutorial